Welcome to another edition of Virgin Ajo. I'm Denise Burke and this is Taylor Burke. Um, we are going to be making monkey bread. We've made this at camp before and it's a, a fun treat for the whole family. You'll need parental guidance obviously because an oven is involved. So I've preheated my oven and it's warming right now to 350. I'll also put these instructions with the video as the intro. We have three cans of biscuits that we purchased from the store. It could be any, any brand, but three cans of the jumbo biscuits. We have our sugar. We have a stick of butter. We have some cinnamon. We have some spray for our butt, for our butt pan. And we're basically ready to go. It's only five ingredients. And this monkey bread um, will be so delicious, I'm sure, that everyone in my house will come running to the kitchen once they smell it cooking. Okay, so with monkey bread, what we started out is Taylor, we opened a can of the biscuits, and her job is gonna be quartering the biscuits like that. And then once she does that, she's gonna transfer them to a plate. Okay. Don't fall off so easily. She's gonna transfer them over here, and then she's gonna keep cutting because we need all of these biscuits quartered. I already did the cup of sugar and the one tablespoon of cinnamon and put it in a bowl and that's ready to go. Okay, Taylor, start cutting. important to have a very well greased bunt pan so spraying it down really well with this Mazzola spray we'll make sure it doesn't stick to the pan okay Taylor has cut all of the pieces of biscuit and they are really soft so even like a butter knife would have cut these um, this is the part that kids are really going to enjoy. So the parents may be doing the cooking part, but for you kids, this is the part you'll have fun doing. So you take your wall grease bun pan and Taylor now has everything set up. So what she's going to do is she's going to take the piece of biscuit and her job, which would be your job at home is to take your biscuit, coat it really well in this, um, this cinnamon sugar mixture and just set it in there. And she's gonna do that with every single piece and fill, she's gonna fill this bump pan with those. I have a, a kind of a large bump pan, so I, if I need to add more biscuits, luckily I have another can or two in my fridge, I think. Okay, so Taylor's gonna go ahead and do that while I go to the next part. And this is where you need um, an older teenager or, or if you're an older teenager and you have permission to use your stove, that's fine, or a parent or guardian. And that is the, saucepan on the stove part with the brown sugar and butter. I'm going to demonstrate that for you next. And again, doesn't have to go if the whole idea is the monkey bread, you're going to put it all in there, just kind of like stuff it all in. It's not about perfection because it's supposed to all just kind of glom together once it bakes. Okay. Follow me over to the stove for the next part. Okay, I'm at the stove top. Again, a parent, guardian, or older teenager has permission to use the stove should do this part. And that is a, a saucepan, one cup of brown sugar, and half a cup of butter, which is one stick of butter for margarine. And I'm basically bringing it to a boil, the brown sugar and butter, to get it kind of caramelized. So it's coming to a boil. And once this is done, I'll show you how we throw that over the top. All right, keep watching. Okay, we are wrapping up. Taylor has, has put all of the biscuits into the pan. I did the brown sugar butter and got it to a nice look at thick glaze. It's nice and kind of all created like a caramely 
caramely glaze. Doesn't that look beautiful? And now we just pour this over the top. looking once this all bakes together I'm just gonna spread it out a little bit once this bakes together it's gonna be mm, 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 this all spread out okay we are ready to put this in the oven for I think it's 40 minutes but I will write those instructions right at the end we will show you the finished product when it's done out of the oven. It smells amazing. We are going to uh, hope that we, um, oh, we're going to need to leave that on. Okay, one little part didn't come out. Not bad. If you can fix that. Hold on. Wow is all I have to say. It says in the directions for monkey bread, this would make a great breakfast. Of course, can you imagine making this in the morning? Everybody wakes up. So I greased it pretty well, but I'm just gonna fit that pipe piece in. Mm. Oh my gosh, this is amazing, amazing. Um, so this is our monkey bread. Now we're gonna taste it and see what everyone thinks. Okay. Our monkey bread came out. We cooked it for 40 minutes. Um, the direction said 35 to 40 minutes, so it depends on your oven. So we, we baked it for 40 minutes. Um, we also found that we did a, a double batch of the glaze, the brown sugar butter, because this was a kind of a large pan, um, but um, that's personal preference, of course. The brown sugar glaze is amazing. Um, it baked perfectly. My boys are eating it right now. And the only word they had to say was that's flames, meaning the monkey bread is flames or they, or fire, which means absolutely amazing. Um, this would be a great, great activity in the morning to have this up for breakfast. It'll get everyone out of bed for sure. The smell of it, the taste of it. Mm. What do you think? <laughs> Is this one of your favorite activities so far? I think monkey bread. Mm. I think it tops our list of um, so far our favorite workshop. So enjoy making monkey bread. Would love to hear about how you enjoyed it. Um, wow, we're just going to keep eating. So thank you so much for joining us for another edition of Virtual Camp Conejo. And um, thank you for tuning in. See you next time. Um, another variation on the monkey bread is you can make it for breakfast. We're having it for dessert at night. Um, but you can make it for breakfast and you can make it like a French toast after you slice the monkey bread. You basically have the most decadent French toast ever. Add some syrup and voila, an amazing French toast for your kids. So just another variation. And um, another variation is at night, you can make monkey bread Sunday and put a slice of monkey bread along with your favorite ice cream and some toppings. So again, you know, lots of uses for delicious monkey bread.